knows? You know what, Nikki? Can I get you to sign one of these? I didn't even... We're winging it, guys. I need page two, however, from Senator Mignot. You have page one. Okay. Of us? All right. Okay, wait. This is called, this is going to be the ultimate test. John, this is for you. Whenever, that's fine. If you all could get a seat, as soon as you're all seated, we are going to be treated by a very special rendition of the Olympic theme by the Gibbons Armstrong Middle School Band conducted by Mr. Tom Thompson. Thank you. That was the, Mr. As they are that again was the Gibbons Armstrong Combined Band by led by Mr. Tomaszewski, and they've been practicing that for a long, long time for your benefit and for Nikki's. As they are filing out, people filing in to take their places will be Symphony Pro Musica. We're very lucky because Symphony Pro Musica has recently claimed Westboro as their home. So if you just bear with us for a minute, we have our symphony coming forward. And you all have been very patient and thank goodness that we are warm and dry inside. What I'd like to do is recognize the very special guests we have with us today. We are indeed lucky to have, and they know they wouldn't miss it, Nancy and Dick Stone and their family, Nikki's parents. We also are joined by state legislators, Senators Bob Durand, Dave, <laughs> Senator David Mignani, <laughs> Representative Ron Gouch, <laughs> and a representative of Congressman James McGovern, Paula Buono. And welcome to all of you. This is a very special day because in the last month, all of us have come together with incredible civic pride. There's been an outpouring of affection and admiration for Nikki Stone, and I'm very proud of being from Westboro, as I know you all are. So therefore, I wanted to welcome you and to say that today's salute 
we thought was a fitting tribute to her accomplishment and her achievement and the affection that we have for Nikki from being from Westboro. So congratulations for all of us and for Nikki. And now we'd like to get on with our program. We'd like to start off with a very special resolution that is presented by the town moderator, Joseph Harrington. Good afternoon. Just a week ago today in this hall, the voters of Westboro gathered for the annual town meeting. Our first order of business was to recognize the extraordinary talent that returns to Westboro today. The voters wasted no time in unanimously voting the following Nikki Stone Day resolution, which I am privileged to read to you. By the way, those of you familiar with our town meeting procedures realize that we discourage applause during presentation of articles. These rules do not apply today. <clears throat> Whereas Nikki Stone, an exuberant member of the Westboro High School class of 1989, honed her exceptional athletic skills on the school's gymnastics, volleyball, and soccer teams, and whereas Nikki Stone has enjoyed the full support of many enthusiastic Westboro citizens and organizations, and whereas Nikki Stone has fully utilized her outstanding talents and has devoted more than a decade to the practice and perfection of the sport of aerial, freestyle aerial skiing, winning 10 World Cup champions and attaining the rank of number one in the world in 1995. <laughs> no. And needless to say, still is number one. Whereas Nikki Stone remained undaunted by injury, and refused to give up her dream, persevering through pain with bravery and through disappointment with spirit. And whereas Nikki Stone has clearly demonstrated that she is a world-class athlete at the very pinnacle of her sport by winning the gold medal in women's freestyle aerial skiing at the 1998 Winter Olympic Games in Nagano, Japan. And whereas Nikki Stone in so doing has garnered great credit not only for herself, but also for her family, her community, and the school system which helped to launch her career. And whereas the town of Westboro is bursting with pride and wishes to express its admiration, affection, and appreciation to Nikki Stone as an inspiration to Westboro residents of all ages, now therefore, the citizens of Westboro, gathered for the 1998 annual town meeting, do hereby resolve that Saturday, March 21st, 1998, that's today, should be Nikki Stone Day in Westboro, so to be declared by the Board of Selectmen, and that this be recognized through appropriate observances. Nikki, this is your day. Nikki, to help you remember this day, we've prepared a copy of the resolution in a form suitable for remembering. Here you are. Thank you. Yeah. Dick and Nancy Stone, this is your day, too. And we have a framed copy of the resolution for you as well. And I'm going to present it right down there. Thank you, Joe. In ascending order with town, state, and federal officials, I'd like to invite the Westboro Board of Selectmen to present gifts from the town. 
and Selectman Dick Brady is with us in spirit. He's recovering from foot surgery now, but I know that he's here in his heart. So if I could call up, if you'd like to come up, uh, Selectman J.J. Malone, who will present Nikki a key to the town, Selectman Joan Bentley, who will present a more practical gift, and Selectman John Minardi, who will present Nikki with a gift that the town will also share. I'm honored to be able to present this key in a few minutes to Nikki. But I want to tell you a little story, that this is not the first time the Malones have passed on a key to the Stones. Up on our street, the Malone home and the Stone home are only two houses apart. And these houses were built at the same time by a certain builder, who shall remain nameless. I, I'm not really sure how we found out, but it turned out our houses were keyed exactly the same way. The Malone key opened the stone house, the stone key opened the Malone house. So there were those times when the school bus came and the stone girls got off the school bus and oh, it was one of those days they were supposed to have a key with them to get in. So, you know, look in the pockets, look in the book pack, no key. So down the street to our house, ring the doorbell, back, unlock their house, back, give us the key back. So I guess even a future Olympian can, can forget her key every now and then. Oh, but, but today, you don't have to come by later and give this one back. You get, to keep, you get to keep this one. Because this is a key to more than just two houses. This is a key that shows that we are opening all of Westboro, the homes, the businesses, to Nikki. And more than that, that we have opened our hearts to her. For we are very, very proud of what you have accomplished. And not just the gold medal. Not just the gold medal. For here we have a young woman who has exhibited a dedication to a goal, who has demonstrated a very strong work ethic, and who has persevered in the face of many obstacles. And that is a lesson, that is an example that we can all take. Olympians are not. And so now, it is my privilege and my pleasure to present to Nikki Stone this key on behalf of the citizens of Westboro. There, here is the key to our town. Congratulations. <laughs> I have something here that's not quite as large, but has no less affection and love with it. The plaque on this clock says, Westboro salutes its hometown gold medalist, Nikki Stone. But we hope when you see this clock, you'll think not only of the time that you have spent living here in Westboro, but the time when most of us were watching, or were this way, did she make it, did she make it, with your two jumps, and the time that we were all with you standing at the bottom saying, are the numbers going to hold? Are the numbers going to hold? Is it the gold? Is it the gold? We all shared that time with you very long distance, and I hope when you see this, you'll remember the time that we did share with you, and congratulations from a very, very proud town. kind of a hard act to follow. Uh, I'm going to say about the same thing they all did, but just to let you know how very proud we all are and town is of you. We have a <coughs> sign that's going to be on the four boundaries that border Westboro, and it says, hometown of Nicky Stone, Olympus, gold medalist, aerial freestyle skiing, 1998. So congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. 
Now I would like to invite the state legislators and the federal official to the stage. They are Senator Bob Durand, Senator David Mignani, Representative Ron Gouch, and Paula Bonanno. Yeah, you stay, I'll, you get to stay there a long time. First we'll have Representative Ron Gouch presenting a resolution. Thank you very much, Chris. And let me just say, Nikki, today you make yourself, your family, your town, your state, and your country very, very proud. What I'd like to do now is present a resolution from the Great and General Court of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I'd like to read that resolution. Resolution congratulating Nikki Stone on winning the gold medal in women's aerials at the 1998 Winter Games. Whereas freestyle skier Nikki Stone of Westboro won the gold medal in women's aerials at the 1998 Winter Olympics at Nagano, Japan, and whereas Nikki Stone was told by more than one doctor that she had performed her final aerial ski jump, and even the more optimistic physicians informed her two years ago that the damage she had done to her back discs would not heal in time to take part in the 1998 Olympics. And whereas Nikki Stone went through an incredibly hard time rehabilitating her back, and there was a time when she was convinced that she may never jump again. And whereas Nikki Stone completed her climb back to the top of her sport on a windy gray morning in the Japanese Alps, as she ignored the difficult conditions to stick to two near perfect jumps and to easily win the gold medal in women's aerials, scoring a combined total of 193 points, and whereas that flat, light, and gusty winds made jumping difficult, and many of the women altered their schedule routines, but Nikki Stone stuck with the same two jumps that allowed her to win four World Cup events this season. A triple twisting double somersault and a single twisting triple somersault, therefore be it resolved that the Massachusetts General Court extends its congratulations to Nikki Stone on winning the gold medal in women's aerials at the 1998 Winter Olympics and offers its best wishes for continued success. And further be it resolved that a copy of this resolution will be fought forwarded by the Clerk of the House of Representatives to Nikki Stone. Signed by the House of Representatives Speaker of the House, Tommy Fitterin, the Clerk of the House, Robert McQueen, and adopted by the Senate in concurrence on February 26, 1998, President of the Senate, Thomas Birmingham, Clerk of the Senate, Edward B. O'Neill, and offered by myself, Representative Ron Gouch, Senator Bob Duran, and Senator David Mignotti. And I'd now, now like to present to you Senator Bob Duran. I just told, I just told Nikki she's going to need a truck to get all this stuff out of here. Um, flat light and gusty winds. Uh, that was the day that you won the gold, and that's the day that we have here in Westboro. Uh, you must have ordered the weather for us, Nikki. It's great to be here in Stone Country. Uh, Nikki Stone is one of those unique individuals for whom the unattainable has a special attraction. They have a dream and a goal and are focused. They have faith in themselves, great determination, and tremendous endurance. They provide a lesson to the rest of us in our daily lives by setting their target high. They make the impossible possible. Sometimes this can be a personal burden, but in the last few weeks, We've seen Nikki come back from the Olympics 
with her gold and win the World Cup with style. We've seen her handle David Letterman, and that's no small task. And we've seen her inspire school children here in Westboro and throughout our nation. We know that in the next few weeks, she'll be at the Nationals and has a goal of commenting for ESPN on extreme sports. Nikki, we wish you well in your future endeavors and thank you for inspiring us in our daily lives to provide renewed determination and faith in our daily endeavors. Thank you very much for all of your inspiration. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to now introduce the other senator from Westboro, Senator Dave Magnani. Thank you, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, children of Westboro, you see before you a citizen of Westboro, a citizen of the world. She reflects from everything we can tell, she reflects the absolute best America has to offer. She's shown courage and grace in very difficult circumstances. She has so shown the ability to pick a goal, stick with a goal. And perhaps more importantly, she has shown how to win, not just how to be a winner, but she has shown the grace of humility. She has shared the grace of her victory with others. She is the best that America has to offer. And I just want to make one brief point here, Nikki, about your folks. They're sitting down here in the corner and uh, in many ways, I think we were talking, both Dick and Nancy and I were talking at the beginning of the parade about what it took to get here. And Nikki knows just how much it took in terms of jumps and training and exercises and um, skiing and everything that it took for her to get here. But if you're a parent and you sweat blood and bullets for your children, if you do all that it takes to bring them to practice, to change three or four thousand diapers when they're three, <laughs> by the time they're three years old, to do everything that it takes to bring a child to the point of adulthood, and then you see what she has become, there is no greater satisfaction in the world. You've done enormous things for women's sports. I hope that the women in America feel that Nikki represents everything that they can be and that you continue to inspire us from this day forward. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm here today representing Congress, Congressman Jim McGovern, who was an, unable to be here because of a family commitment. But I have for you a copy of the congressional record, yet another proclamation on today, March 21st. And I'd like to read it to you in part. Congratulations to Olympic gold medalist Nikki Stone. Honorable James P. McGovern of Massachusetts in the House of Representatives, Wednesday, March 4th, 1998. Mr. Speaker, all of America watched last month as our Olympic athletes competed in Nagano, Japan. I would like to take just a moment today to applaud one of those athletes, Nikki Stone of Westboro, Massachusetts, for her gold medal performance in aerial skiing. Aerial skiing combines grace, speed, and power at dizzying heights with twists, turns, flips, and spins thrown in for good measure. Competitors race down a mountain, fly into the air, perform amazing feats of aerial artistry, and land on their feet, all with skis attached. Nikki Stone accomplished all of these things, and she accomplished them with a love of sport, love of competition, and love of country that comes with being a champion. Growing up in Westboro, Nikki participated in local gymnastics programs and was recognized from an early age as an exceptional athlete. She quickly turned to high-level competition and despite a series of debilitating back injuries, continued to rise to the top of her sport. Nikki's life in aerial skiing reflects the courage, discipline, and go-for-it attitude that will continue to bring her success in whatever future challenges she faces. 
I know that America will never forget watching Nikki's final winning effort in Nagano, a gravity-defying jump in snowy, foggy conditions. And I know the people of central Massachusetts will never forget how proud we were when we saw her on the medal stand, her arms raised in triumph after playing our national anthem. Mr. Speaker, on March 21st, the town of Westboro will honor Nikki Stone with a parade worthy of an Olympic champion. On behalf of everyone in my district, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to Nikki Stone for all she has done so well. Thank you very much. What I'd like to do now is to announce some special awards. We have special awards from the Westboro Post Office, from Postmaster Ed Newton, Postmaster of Auburn, but he's on our planning board. And I'd like to invite now these people to come up. Postmaster Ed Newton, Westboro Post Office, the Westboro Worcester Telegram Gazette, if you'd please come up now, Harry Whiten and Mike Nathan, the Middlesex News, Brian Milligan, if you'd come up, and Coca-Cola of New England, Bob Manning, if you'd please come up as well. These are people with very special awards that mean something to Nikki and to the town. So first, it would be uh, Ed Newton, representing the Westboro Post Office. Nikki, on behalf of the Westboro Post Office and the United States Postal Service, what a great job you did for us all last month. Uh, in the element, winning the gold. What I would like to do is present to you this framed rendition of our winter sport stamp. Each year the Postal Service issues sports to commemorate, issues stamps to commemorate certain events. And the winter sports stamp this year was of the skiers. It was actually issued in January in your home away from home, Utah. Okay? So on behalf of the Postal Service in the Westboro Postal Employees, I would like to present this to you. On the bottom it says, Nikki Stone, congratulations, United States Postal Service, Westboro, Mass, 1998. Thank you. Now representing the Worcester Telegram and Gazette, our own Harry Whiten, and the sports editor, Mike Nathan. Sports editor Dave Nathan. This is an extraordinary moment for uh, everybody in central Massachusetts. Uh, I went back in the records at the Telegram and Gazette.